You are listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. We are here once again, and today, man, we're going to talk to a music artist. She just released recently an album, Shadows. The one and only Tiffany, you know her in the 80s, but you also know she launched her career at a birthday party at her friend's birthday party at the age of nine. So first and foremost, I want to welcome you to show, Tiffany. How are you doing? I am doing good. I'm in Nashville, chilling. It's a beautiful day, uh, and it's warm. So yeah, I mean, I've been out doing some uh, some shows finalizing the rest of the year and then now album release party because shadows out so that's happening december 4th so just getting ready having a moment in my own home here in nashville and and just relaxing this morning and enjoying you know the the album finally being out it's been two years we've been waiting and postponing so it's finally it's you know it's real <laughs> i love it and Congratulations on your on your album coming out. How does it feel Thank to you. have it just finally be polished up and released and ready for the masses to listen to? Because this is a special album. It's a lot of storytelling and just a lot of you just being vulnerable. Well, it is very uh, vulnerable, this album. I mean, it really, as a songwriter, you know, it really was all my experiences, my life just out there. The good, the bad, the ugly, you know. And and this, the album is solid. I mean, from up-tempo songs that are, you know, kind of, you know, retro, punk, you know, pop fun to, you know, to, to good rock songs to the heartfelt ballads. So, you know, I mean, for me, it feels really great. It, it, it's really nice now that the album is out, TiffanyTunes.com, for everybody to go with it and be part of all things Tiff World. There you can find where Shadows is, you know, and come be a part of, you know, all the behind the scenes because we're just going to keep living the music. But, I mean, I love the comments, you know. People are like, wow, this one is the best one. I mean, this one, I love these tracks. I love I Like the Rain. And, you know, and it, it's, it, I mean, it gives you more and more of that um, support, if you will, I guess, or confidence. Uh, I've already, I felt comfortable releasing the album. Of course, I love it and believe in it, and stand behind it. But, you know, when people go, yeah, this is really good. And it puts a smile on your face, you know? Uh, so it's a great feeling. And with the album, there's 11 songs on there. And one of the songs that people will probably find interesting is Bed of Nails. What was the backstory of this song and what inspires you to write this song? Well, I mean, Bed of Nails is my favorite song on the album. It's the last song on the album and it's this big, huge ballad. Um, but it's more of like this dramatic, uh, you know, kind of darker ballad, if you will. And it just, the, the, you know, the music just keeps building and building. What I'm mostly pr- proud about is that that's a one take vocal. So it was supposed to be a scratch vocal at the end of the night. Be like, you know, I was going to go have dinner with the band and I had made dinner and they were hungry. And so I just had a minute to lay the vocal down and I just was free, if you will. I'd never sang, sang it before in front of anybody, only in my in the kitchen. That's where I write all the lyrics and they're in the studio next door. Um, and I'm, you know, singing away and doing it, but I was very private. And then I go on the mic and I do the scratch vocal, and that's what came out. So it was meant to be like that. And that song is really about, you know, having such a hard time. Um, and then that particular song is about a relationship. And, you know, it was about, you know, wanting that person to understand how unhappy, how uncomfortable you feel, you know, and how you want them to feel that way too with you. You know, and it is kind of misery love company, but it's not done in a malicious way. It really is in in a way that, you know, you're so, you're so broken that you just need that compassion. Um, And, you know, and that's kind of what comes out of that song, Bed of Nails. And you said you're doing some things in Tennessee. What's the future of your busy work week or a few months from now? What are you planning to do? 
Oh my gosh. My work week is always busy. Uh, we're planning shows for 2023 for shadows, uh, going overseas as well and taking that to different countries, uh, new merch line. Uh, my, you know, food company, let's food with Tiffany, uh, on Instagram and building the cooking club and zooming with the cooking club and recipes and cookbook coming out. And, uh, so all of that stuff, but, but, you know, and food and music experiences, cause they all go hand in hand, but you know, I mean, right now we're living the, the album release, loving the music and the music is opening the other doors to be a part of, like I said, the food experiences, um, to the pop-up signings for the vinyl when it comes out, uh, we're just going to rock it and live it. And, and, you know, now that we, can be out there uh living you know music again i'm gonna take all those opportunities and once again we've been talking to tiffany and her her album that just released recently shadows people want to follow you on social media can you tell us where they can find you on twitter and instagram tiffanytunes.com everyone that's the website i'll take you to all things tip world and again can be a part of the cooking club or you know let's food with tiffany um and definitely shadows and tiffanytunes.com has all list of all the dates that are going to be up and coming in our pop-ups and uh that's going to start next week for lots of surprises and cookbooks that are coming out and get you know all the things in tip world once again talking to tiffany her album Shadows want to say thank you for taking time talking to us today. Thank you. Thank you for your time.